It's a two-for-one special on light gun games today, testing your sharp shooting against cardboard cutouts and clay pigeons, because ripping off just one of the competition's games wasn't enough. This is Sega Masters. Today's episode allows us to revisit the Sega Light Phaser, which, if you remember, was Sega's answer to the Nintendo Zapper. Nintendo was quickly rewriting the rules of consoles, including making the light gun an essential part of any gaming experience, and near the end of 1986, the NES boasted a small but growing selection of light gun cartridges. Sega, on the other hand, only had the Duck Hunt-esque Safari Hunt, which we previously looked at back in Episode 2. To try and close the gap, Sega brought out this follow-up, which offers two more familiar-looking shooting titles in a single combo cartridge. But there's an old warning to be wary when two separate games are combined into one package. With a few exceptions, it may be that neither game is able to stand on its own, and this duo just might prove that theory. First up, it's Marksman Shooting, which mimics the gameplay of Nintendo's Hogan's Alley, only without the personality and extra modes found in the NES cart. Here your shooting skills are tested in a police training range, where marked human-shaped cardboard cutouts slide into the playing field, and you must blast them within an allotted time frame. You score points based on how close your shot is to the red marks, and as you might imagine, you have to hit a certain amount of cutouts to advance to the next round. That's pretty much all you get here, no innocent targets or anything like that. While the light gun is accurate for the most part, your mileage is really influenced by how close you're holding your sidearm to the television set. Should you meet the required hit ratio to pass the level, you'll find the following level has... the exact same background and targets, only at a slightly higher difficulty. Same thing if you reach the third level, and so forth. Absolutely nothing changes through 100 rounds. It's the same vanilla shooting action over and over with nothing thrown in to spice things up. Not even a change of venue. The game ends if you fail to meet the required hit ratio, though the tedium will most likely cause you to shut it off long before then. Now let's take a look at the other offering, Trap Shooting. But see if this premise sounds familiar. Clay pigeons are shot into the playing field by twos, and you must blast them as they sail toward the horizon, with only three shots to nail the both of them before they disappear in the distance. Naturally, you must hit a certain amount to pass the level and continue on as pointed out by the familiar looking indicator on the screen. If you hadn't guessed, this is indeed a direct rip-off of Duck Hunt's clay shooting mode. In fact, if you compare it to its NES counterpart, the gameplay is just about identical, right down to the similar information bars. Trap shooting plays slightly better than its half-brother and has some smooth animation, as well as an occasional change of scenery. Every few levels, the background changes from the standard field to a seashore, a canyon, and a mountain lake. All of which are nicely done, but nothing more than just window dressing. But like the other game, the action never changes from round to round. You just keep shooting the clay pigeons through never-ending screens until the game ends from failing to meet the threshold. So overall, this combo cart feels like a pair of minigames Sega decided to just throw together and call it good, since neither marksman shooting nor trap shooting feel like any real effort was put into them. Both titles provide a bare minimum light gun experience and not much else, and even the presentation comes off as half-hearted, especially since the music is directly recycled from Safari Hunt. This is a pairing you'll most likely grow bored of within minutes and probably never want to ever play again. Maybe Sega saw that as well because a year later, a revised version of this combo cart was released in Europe. Only that version added Safari Hunt to the grouping, but the presence of a decent game isn't going to make you play these two losers any more than the US cart did. 
Any way you slice it, marksman shooting and trap shooting fails to hit the target. Especially with better offerings available on the master system to scratch that itchy trigger finger.